Hey, this is Steven from Legit Tech Tutorials, and welcome back to uh, building a PC tutorial series. Um, I'm here with Billy Chang from Dragon Discord Studios. Hello there, yellow. And uh, we're going to go ahead and start installing the uh, motherboard inside of the case here, inside the Antec 1 case. So basically what we did here is we, um, if you see all of these uh, screws over here, we found the screws that go into the risers inside the board, and Billy will show you those. It's right, so it's those guys there. These. Like you have to pay attention to these. Like these screws go in here. Yeah. So. Uh, like that. Yeah. So you have to make sure that you find the right screws that go into the risers, as that will save you a lot of time. Uh, the some of the risers are pre-installed inside of the case, and the risers are basically what lift the motherboard up and cause it to not short on the backside from the motherboard to the case. They we, also ground it out. To the we case. have these extra ones because um, apparently the motherboard I got was a bit huge. Yeah, it's a it's a larger ATX motherboard, so uh, we had si six that were pre-installed inside of the case, but we're going to need the extra three for these three mounting holes here. And uh, also we found the uh, screws that go into the power supply, which we have over here, and uh, that's going to be definitely needed because we're going to need to have that to uh, ground, ground out the case properly. So what you're going to need to grab is you're going to need to grab your power supply and you're going to need to grab your uh, you're going to need to grab your power cable here. So basically what we're going to do is plug the power cable from the power supply into the wall and then we're going to ground our anti-static wrist strap and our mat to the power supply and then to our wrist from the anti-static wrist strap. All right, so we have that ready to go, and uh, we're gonna go ahead and move some of this stuff out of the way, so you could actually we'll probably just move our uh, yeah, camera that, over. Yeah, that would probably be easier, honestly. Okay, so we're gonna move our camera in, and right here's side, right? here's the inside of the case. So you can see the risers. So what we'll do first before we install the motherboard is we'll just install the risers in here. Oh yeah. So we what we're gonna do is we have uh, these two, these next three locations. We have this location here, this one. And then this one. So do we just screw the these in or what? Yeah, so you just screw it in. Grab one. Do you have one? Here. Go ahead and screw that in over here at the top. Yeah, I got it. So here I'm screwing in the one at the bottom. I'm glad these come in square shape or else it'd be impossible. Yeah, because you use uh, also, you could also use a wrench. Like a mini wrench, like a really tough small mini wrench. Yeah, so you're just going to want to do hand tight. They're, the threads are... Uh, feels like I still have a little bit. Also, another trick that I would recommend is check out this trick right here. Can you get it all in? Um, yeah, you just, it was just a bit lopsided. Oh, okay. I think. Okay, so I'm installing the middle one here. And sometimes some of these holes that have paint inside, so the threads aren't really that uh, ready to be uh, have a have the um, like be that? mated with the thread. Is that good? Yeah. Do you feel any gap underneath? Uh, nope. Okay, Wait, get this I? one right here, Billy. That one's being a pain in the ass. All right, so this one feels good. This one feels good. I guess I don't have a screw loose. <laughs> People say I always do. Ooh. Okay. Oh my god, this one's like. Apparently, we're gonna have a screw loose if I don't. Okay, so uh, here's a little quick trick. Let me see that one, Billy. Is if you don't have a little nut driver for this guy, what you could do is take the screw and screw it in. The nut driver? What's that? <clears throat> the the hex to go around that. Oh, okay. So you screw it in until it bottoms out. Oh, uh, then you just use a screwdriver. And then you use, now you could use a screwdriver to screw it in. Oh, why didn't you try And then unscrew, and then unscrew the screw, yeah. So yeah, go ahead and thread that in there, Billy. So that's a little trick, as uh, you'll probably definitely need. And then you just back out, and you just hold the hold the thing in there and back it out. So don't go too far. Just go until it feels tight. Like there? Yeah. Now now unscrew the. Huh? That trick, huh? Ah, uh, them them shortcuts. Them shortcuts. All right. So that now we have those risers pushed in, and we, don't go too far to where you start to strip the threads, because once you try to undo it, it pulls it back out. Yeah, it gets annoying probably, right? Alright, so now we have all of them installed. We have this one here at the top left, this one, 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 and this one. So we should be set, right? Yeah, so we're ready to go. So here well, we have well, our we power supply. To, don't we have to pop these out first? Yeah, but we're going to do the power supply oh, yeah, first yeah, going yeah. down here. So you have all those, uh, all these uh, unscrewed. Wait, where'd you put all those? Oh, right there. Yeah. Okay, 
So go ahead and uh, it's going to go uh, the face this way. Yeah, this way. And then you're going to line up the screws on the back. Um, should I probably take this off so that's yeah, let's... Like, a little fast, flatter? Uh, I think it might need to be cut. Or, or can you slide it off? Nope, I don't think so. Yeah, oh, I can just try it out. All right, apparently you can just slide these off, so don't, or mm. maybe not. I don't know. Yeah, slide it off from this side here. Oh, there you go. Oh, <laughs> my bad. Either camera. Way, All right. The camera. Don't so, break your uh, camera. Well, it's not my camera, so I don't care. Yeah, so put it in and install it towards, uh, go ahead and show them, Billy. So you're going to install the power the power cord towards the outside, towards the outside of the case. So like... And it's got a little mounting plate. You see the there's like a mounting plate down there? Ah! Okay. okay, if you're doing this two persons, you should probably coordinate so you don't squish your fingers next time. Ow! Okay, so here is, is good. And it fits nicely, actually. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, go back. Go back. It might be upside down. It's upside down? Wait, what was the fan? Yeah, the, so also an obvious thing that we missed oh, the here. Fan the fan. Fine. Okay. I'm an idiot. Okay, so the fan. It needs to go here, on top. Fan, no, fan's gonna go down the bottom. Right. Towards the bottom of the case, so it could out, so it could you know push out the air. I'm not putting my finger in there again. Okay, so now what you're gonna just do is line in the line up the holes, which we just did, and we're gonna take uh, those screws and screw it in. That's what she said. And now we have a good, we have a perfect fit. I'm sorry I had to say that, because you just screw in the inside, you know. <laughs> in case you're wondering, it's like a little inside joke, don't worry about it. If you're offended, then uh, I'm sorry. YouTube, please don't hurt me. You know. Okay, put, push the back in here like, like that. Uh, I'm just screw it right here. Uh, wait, what's this for that? Yeah, let me get that for you. It was right here. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and use the screwdriver, and I'll show you guys uh, what it looks like here in a second. I'll pop the camera off the tripod, and uh... I really like these uh, end tasks. Like, my old freaking case had... Should I screw it in tight or just tight enough? Uh, yeah, just tight enough. I really like the anti cases because they're all Philippet screwdrivers. Yeah, so th this is this is out of the uh, by the way this is out of the hardware kit that came with the case. So this is all the hardware that you that you need. It's pretty standard among all of the parts. So let's go ahead and move this to where you can see what Billy's doing. Just screwing these in. Look up your feet there, Billy. All right, so there you see it all. Uh, screwed in and you see that it's got a fan here a fan filter on the bottom so you obviously want the fan pointing towards the bottom basically fans goes towards the holes yeah towards the hole in the bottom of the case yeah. you don't want to pump hot air back into your or suck hot air from the inside of your case and push it through your <laughs> power unless you want it to explode yeah okay so now so we got is, these now like, we got what's the side of power supply is it just a bunch of was it what What's this? Oh, in, in transformers and stuff. So yeah, so here's those rails. As we said um, in the uh, overview of what the parts are, this is a. If you look it up, this is a semi-modular case, a semi-modular power supply. So these cables are attached. Why well, yeah, I'm gonna go grab the power cable. All right. So uh, Billy's gonna go ahead and plug in the power cable, and uh, we'll show you how to properly ground yourself. Uh, first, we should check if it's turned off. Yeah, so uh, here it's turned off. So, so the circle, the circle means it's off, and the one means it's on. Yeah, if the circle's pushed in, then you're okay. Yeah, then you're if okay. You're, if you're, if it's on the one, then you're probably screwed. Yeah, then you don't want to definitely attach. Oh, you can't. Go. All right. Well, so just... we're gonna plug that in. Uh, Billy's gonna plug that in underneath. The and cable. I just realized I can use a computer in here because I have a cable wire right there. I'm stupid. Yeah, it's right here, Billy. Okay, so we're gonna. Actually, let's do it from the back then. If we're gonna do that, right? Yeah. So go ahead and drop it. In. Right there. I highly recommend that you get one of these mats or bar ask your friend if he does this type of stuff to borrow his. Like any sort of rubber mat that'll insulate it. Yeah, so now what we have here on the back side of the mat that's plugged into the mat is How we much have, is this mat? Uh, it was pretty expensive, so it's like if you do it a lot. But you could get one of these static straps for a couple bucks, and usually these two are attached. In my case, they're not. So all you have to do is get this guy, and uh, let me see if I could find a spot that you can see it. 
just pl just uh, clip it on here and now you have the anti-static wrist strap and you put it around your wrist yeah I'm gonna like so let's go ahead and uh, hand it, I'll hand it off to you then Alright, right, so now we have the case ground to the house, and uh, we have the case also grounded to us, or at least me. Um, <laughs> well, we, do, we only have the one. Yeah, so I only have one wrist strap. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and move oh, yeah. everything out of the way, and we're also going to get ready to prepare the I.O. plate. So we're gonna have to pop a bunch of these out. Yeah, so you see the I.O. plate here is this piece. Our our case came with uh, one of these attached, and you just pop it out. Do they snap off or do they pop off? Yeah, they, they, they're just hinged on there. Because what we have is we have our special nice all black I.O. plate that came with the Maximus. Oh, also if you're safe, you think you might want to say that. It seems pretty sharp if you don't say that. So if you're safe, you... If yeah, you know, so, like, so you might want to take a file and file that. Well, down. maybe like a shortcut, you can just hammer the uh, knob, yeah. knob a little bit inside, so it doesn't it won't hurt you. But for this case, I'm probably not gonna stick my hand through that thing and hurt myself like an idiot. So okay, so usually you have it down, facing downwards like this, and you see how it has the ledge here on this. So you're gonna install it from the inside. I like this one because it um, has that cushion you were talking about. Yeah, it's got insulation on the back. So as you see. It, it's gonna fit in there nicely. Just pop it in, I guess. Yeah, and so once I get everything out of the way. Yeah, this thing came with fans, so it's a bit of a hassle to actually move around in the beginning, but I guess it's okay because it came with the fans. Free fans, right? Yeah, free fans always good. Okay, it's already installed there, so let's go ahead and show you guys that. So let me tilt it. So you see it installed in there. You can even push it in, it feels nice. Yeah, it's got a, a nice seal on the side. And then here's on the back. This is a hassle moving the whole thing around. Yeah, with the tripod. So the camera's on a tripod. Yeah, we. So there it is on the back. By the way, if you guys want to support Steven, get him one of those things where he just mount on his chest because apparently he's having troubles. Yeah, it's, it's a lot easier to have a different type. Okay, Billy, go ahead and hand me the motherboard and we'll install it, install it in. Also, you, you want to have the uh, screws ready to go. So we already have the screws uh, matched out and we already have all of the risers put in. So we're gonna go ahead and mount this guy in here. So you're gonna gonna you're gonna go down and over, and you're gonna just push it in to where it fits, and you're just gonna push it a little bit until you get the uh, mounting screws. I think I might be not pushed all the way in in the IO plate on the bottom there. Am I pushed all the way in? I think I am. Might not be right there. Okay, so I'm just making sure the I.O. plate's pushed all the way in. Now, since you have that little insulation on there, you're you going to need to push a little bit. Okay, there we go. We got we got matched up on most of them. Alright, so am I allowed to help screw it or do you need Yeah, to... so I'll, I'll just pass me the screws. Yeah. So we're going to start in the corners. So we're going to push it in to where we get a screw match up here at the top right corner. Is it possible? Oh, did you try it on, by the way? Huh? Did you turn the power supply on? No, you don't turn the power supply on. Oh, you just ground it? You just ground it, yeah. Okay. Uh, you don't make sure you like. Oh, this game actually comes with a dust filter. Nice. Yeah, it comes with a dust filter. Okay, where's the where's the screwdriver? A screwdriver. Uh, it's right here. There it is. All right, so now we're gonna use the screwdriver here to screw this guy in, and we're gonna use the the screws that we know that go into those risers. So we already have that, and you don't want to do them super tight because you need to do all of them. Okay, oh, so. by the way, uh, for if you guys do get this, make sure you take the sticker off. There was like a plastic thing. Yeah, so this is a heat sink. You definitely want to have all the stickers out out of your case when you're installing it. So Billy's gonna pass me, just pass me one. Pass you one. Yeah. Okay. So now I'm gonna do this bottom left hand corner. So let me see. You're not gonna be able to see it because it's behind the power supply, but it's this bottom right left corner here. You want to work the camera like with hand my hand? Yeah, you can do that if you want. I don't think my hand's steady enough, but I'll try. Actually, my hands, I'm not pretty steady, honestly, so. That's okay, we already got this already installed there. Alright. So we're gonna get the, you don't need these guys super tight. It's not holding in a whole bunch of weight. Most of these components in here are gonna be, Billy's the wrong one. Oh, what? Yeah, it's, it's the one that's got the tapered top. Let me see that, that's the right one. All right, so now we're gonna start on the bottom right corner. Oh, I see, I see. I must have picked this one by accident. Sorry. It's all right. All 
All right, so that guy's already ready to go. All right, so we're gonna keep going. Okay, what is the next one, Bill? All right, thanks. Should we like skip this part of the video because it seems like it might take a while? No, nah, because this, this is a very, very important part here to make mm. sure that you're grounded and all that stuff. But yeah, you're grounded. You're grounded, young man. Okay, so now we're getting pretty close to where all the fan stuff is, so it's a little difficult. Eh, well, as long as you get through it, it's fine, right? Right, exactly. Okay, so we only have a couple more left. And it should awesome. take us. I guess we'll need these two, right? Yeah, but we're gonna we're gonna cut the video after we finish this because we're definitely into time. We're about sixteen minutes into this video. And the other videos are a lot shorter than this one. Yeah. Well, we're gonna mash it up together, I guess, right? Or do you want to keep it in separate videos? Yeah, we'll probably keep it separate. Yeah, well, we're making a. We have a document about all the stuff we actually bought, uh, plus a little bit of what we think about it. So you might want to watch that just to see if you. Yeah, so we're gonna we'll, we'll have a conclusion video of uh, of what we liked, what we would have changed, and any additions to the videos that we would have. Uh, that we missed out on. Oh, we're almost done. We only have two more. Yeah, so we only have two more here, and then uh, when then we'll go into the final check, make sure that we have everything nice and tight. Okay, so we got one more left over here in the top. Oh, well, then what's this extra screw? Uh, just probably extra, yeah. I guess. I don't think I'm missing one. You said there were six or nine in total, right? Uh, yes. How about this one? What's this? Why are there the holes next to the process? Oh, here it is, right here. Oh. So yeah, so we do need the last one. So we got one more left. That should be. You should be careful about that one. That looks like that might be the most damaging part if you mess out. Yeah, I would rec definitely recommend that you put in the stuff before you actually sc before you um screw it in because it looks like it would be uh, like a bit, a bit of a hassle. To For which one, the risers? The this stuff and the oh yeah 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 so as you saw we we have all these uh, the processor installed and our um, if you didn't see before we installed it this has a really big CPU cutout so it's very easy to swap out fans while you have the motherboard installed all right so that uh, that concludes this video this video went on a little long so this has been Steven from Legit Tech Tutorials and Dragon Discord Billy Chang for Dragon Discord Studios and we'll see you next time next time we'll be doing all the fine tuning with like the graphics card and the yeah, wires. Yeah, we'll be plugging everything in and uh, getting it ready for uh, first boot. So we're working our way to there and uh, we'll get there within the next couple of videos. All right, I'll see you guys in the next video. Take it easy. Peace.